Surprise! This is a Baby Big Mouth Storytime production. Part of the Baby Big Mouth Podcast Network. Are you still awake? Holy cats! I thought you would have been asleep ages ago. Well, what can we do to get you to dreamland? How about a story? Okay, I'll go get the book. This story is called The Three Little Pigs. It's a classic. Here we go. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. These piggies were getting ready to go out into the world to seek their fortunes. Before they left, Mother Pig said to them, Make sure you always work hard and be careful. You know there is a wolf who roams around these parts. The first thing the pigs had to do was build a house. The first little pig was very lazy. He didn't want to work at all, and he built his house out of straw. The second little pig worked a little bit harder, but he was somewhat lazy too, and he built his house out of sticks. Then they sang and danced and played together the rest of the day. The third little pig worked hard all day and built his house with bricks. It was a sturdy house, complete with a fine fireplace and chimney. It looked like it could withstand the strongest winds. The next day, a wolf happened to pass by the lane where the three little pigs lived, and he saw the straw house, and he smelled the pig inside. He thought the pig would make a mighty fine meal, and his mouth began to water. Uh Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big paws through the keyhole, so he answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Then the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. Oh no, not again. Excuse me, but my little doggy asked if you could please keep it down. Uh, yep, I forgot, sorry. Yes, it's just that we need to be at the dog park mighty early tomorrow morning. Yep, it won't happen again. Okay, thanks again. How does that sound, Ruffy? Is that okay? Sorry. Mm Mm-hmm. Good night. Nighty night. Okay, I'm going to have to remember to be quiet the rest of this story. Now, where were we? The wolf was going to huff and puff. That's right. Here we go. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf ran inside looking for his meal, but the first little pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second little pig. Lucky for him, he's fast. The wolf continued down the lane and he passed by the second house made of sticks and he saw the house and he smelled the pigs inside and his mouth began to water as he thought about the fine dinner they would make. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. But the little pigs saw the wolf's pointy ears through the keyhole, so they answered back, No, no, no! Not by the hairs of our chinny-chin-chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and said, Okay, I better be quiet here. We don't want to wake them up again. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf was greedy and he tried to catch both pigs at once. And because of this greediness... He wasn't able to catch either one of them. Lucky for them. His big jaws clamped down on nothing but air, and the two little pigs scrambled away as fast as their little hooves would carry them. 
The wolf chased them down the lane and he almost caught them, but they made it to the brick house and slammed the door closed before the wolf could catch them. The three little pigs were very frightened. They knew the wolf wanted to eat them, and that was very, very true. The wolf hadn't eaten all day, and he had worked up a large appetite chasing the pigs around. Now he could smell all three of them inside, and he knew that the three little pigs would make a lovely feast. So the wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. But the little pigs saw the wolf's narrow eyes through the keyhole, so they answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs of our chinny-chin-chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and said, Oh, quiet, remember to be quiet. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Well, he huffed and he puffed. He puffed and he huffed. He huffed and huffed and puffed and puffed and puffed and huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed and puffed and puffed. But he could not blow the house down. At last, he was so out of breath that he couldn't huff and he couldn't puff anymore. So he stopped to rest and thought a bit. Then he said, Oh, forget it. You win. I'm out of here. The three little pigs lived happily ever after. So the moral of this story is that hard work pays off. And don't be a lazy bones or it could get you into trouble. Come on. Okay, if you want to get some work done tomorrow, you better get some sleep. I'm going to go get some shut eye myself. Sleep tight. Part of the Baby Big Mouth Podcast Network.